What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome to the channel. Post a lot of walleye, jumbo perch content. Um, but lately here in the spring, a lot of walleye content. Otherwise, yeah, we're out here on the Fox River today. It's a really gloomy day. We got some snow coming in here. It's about five o'clock in the evening. Just got out here. Gonna be pitching some plastic around, maybe some blade baits. Showing you guys how I'm using these uh, blade baits and this plastic that I'm using. And then tonight, uh, gonna be hopefully shooting a night video. So I'm gonna be fishing till dark and uh, got somebody coming out. And if they, they're they all for the video, then I'll be shooting a nice night video for you guys as well. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss it. Gonna be a good video, good informational video. Thanks for tuning in. Nice fish here on a jig and a plastic. Using a hutch tackle sparkly jig here. And a hutch tackle plastic here. Going back old Mississippi River style, boys. Nice fish. Mostly, mostly how I'm working this plastic, guys, is when these fish aren't very active, I'm kind of just casting it out there, casting it diagonal with the current instead of straight up current or straight down current. Same way as I would work a blade bait, I like to cast parallel with the current and work it. Oh my god, there's so many fish right here. You should see my graph right now. They're just stacked right here. Um, but kind of working it with the current. And what I'm doing is I'm letting it hit bottom. And as soon as it hits bottom, I'm kind of giving it a little pull and just pulling it off the bottom and just holding it and letting it hit bottom again. And these fish are coming in and hitting it as it's falling to the bottom. And sometimes I'll give it a little more snap. I mix it up a lot to see what they want. Either it's kind of just a slow pull and hold it there, or if it's more of a snap and hold it there. And a lot of the time when these fish aren't very active and aggressive, that more snap will trigger these fish to bite. Kind of like with that blade bait, more of a reaction bite. And I've noticed on days, there's act on days that they're active, it really doesn't matter if you're doing a snap or a pull but like today they're not it doesn't seem like they're very active so i'm kind of doing more of a snap to get a reaction bite out of that fish there's one right there right there right on cue and what i was going to say too is i've noticed in the spring when this water is very cold like this these walleyes want a plastic with a lot of action, a plastic with a lot of vibration. You could throw a plastic, you know, a split tail or something, and it's really not gonna work that well. These, uh, these walleyes are really keying into something with a lot of vibration, a big tail with a big paddle tail, or something like a moxie that just has a lot of action. Another nice walleye. Got that thing just choked. Another nice Green Bay walleye right here. Barely hooked, corner in the mouth. Yes, sir. We'll get him back. Well, my good friend Rob is over here in his boat, and I'm over here in his old boat, and they're hooked up. Hooked up, hooked up. Looks like a decent one. Oh, yeah. Show that baby off to the camera, Alex. 
Nice Green Bay Y right there. What are you throwing here, Rob? Oh, he's throwing that tickle tail. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Nice walleye. I'm about to add in a little informational tip for you guys too. So I got how to work the plastic and add it in a little bit. But what jig I'm using, what plastic I'm using. And now in a second here, I'm gonna show you guys my box and uh, my go-to jigs and my go-to plastics right now. Double, double. Oh! What? <laughs> I was like, here, you can reel it in. I was like, wow, we got a double. But I figured out very quickly not. <laughs> double! Double! Oh! What? <laughs> I was like, here, you can reel it in. I was like, wow, we got a double. But I figured out very quickly not. chin and these cold water situations they like to pin it to the bottom like that okay I want to talk a little bit about my setup for working these plastics my rod is a St. Croix Icon 7.2 medium light fast action and I got a Daiwa reel on here the Regal and also I'm using 8 to 10 pound Suffix 832 you don't have to use colored line. I like colored line. I fish a lot of rivers, fish a lot at night. So the color line is helpful for me. But otherwise, yeah, eight to 10 pound braid. Suffix 832 is what I like best. And I would recommend. Otherwise, what I run for, right now I'm throwing straight braid. But normally I would be running a barrel swivel. The water is really dirty right now. That's why I'm throwing straight braid and it doesn't really matter throwing a plastic. But when the water clarity is clear i'm always using a fluorocarbon leader no matter if i'm using especially if i'm using a blade bait or ripping wrap i'm always using a leader but with the plastic here right now like i said i'm using straight braid otherwise for leader material i like to run 12 to 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon any fluorocarbon works 12 to 15 pound i like to run a foot and a half to three feet leader and i use a barrel swivel to connect the braid to the fluorocarbon and then I use a snap on the end, a snap or a snap swivel to connect your bait on there. Otherwise, yeah, that's a little bit about my rod setup, the line, everything I'm using. Now I'm gonna get into the jigs I like to throw right now and the plastics I like to throw right now. So here's a look at some of my go-to jigs and plastics right now in the Fox River. Obviously you got the Authentic X plastics here. I'd say green and orange has really been working the best for me. Um, this pink and blue ones, they always work. They work better in some places than others. Otherwise, I would say green and orange has really been my go-to color. Otherwise, I like to run these Kitex here. They're four inch paddle tails. A lot of action, like I said, all these baits got a lot of action and vibration. And let's look over here. If you guys know me and if you watched the channel before, I'm a big Mississippi River guy. I grew up fishing the Mississippi River. Big Hutch Tackle fan. I throw a lot of these Sauger Slayers. 
This is my number one bait on the Mississippi. I don't throw nothing but sauger slayers in the Mississippi, all split tails. But these sauger spankers right here, over here on the Fox, oh my God. I get them on the sauger slayers too, but they like more of a paddle tail over here. And woo! when they say sauger spankers over here on the Fox, they're walleye spankers. On the Mississippi, they are sauger spankers. But here's a look at some of the jigs. Let's not talk too much about that. I really would say the go-to jigs right now for me has been these Hutch Tackle jigs. These either sparkly silver ones or these sparkly gold ones. Them have been my number one go-to jig. Otherwise, from besides from that, the second jig I would go to is these Google Eyes. If I'm not throwing on any sparkly jigs right now, these Hutch Tackle jigs, I'm throwing a Google Eye jig. But I do, I think I have a box right here. There's a look at that. So you want to order some of those. There's some Hutch Tackle jigs right there. Same same brand as uh, the Sauger Slayers here and the Sauger Spankers right there. Otherwise, yeah, I'd say a Google Eye, a Google Eye and a Moon Eye. Sorry, I must have said that wrong earlier. These are Moon Eye jigs, VMC Moon Eye jigs. But Google Eye jigs are another jig that are my go-to. Google Eye, Moon Eye, VMC jigs, and Hutch Tackle jigs right here and that is my go-to jigs and go-to plastics right now on the fox river so get you some authentic x plastics order some hutch tackle plastics and some sparkly jigs and some vmc jigs and you will be good to go get out here and get on some fish sadly this is going to wrap up the video came out on the fox for about an hour and a half maybe two hours just got in some fishing wanted to show you guys how i'm working these baits what i'm using so hopefully this helps you out if you're going to get out on a fox and try to get on some of these fish otherwise if you don't know what you're doing or don't know anything about up here i am also running guide trips up here on the fox and all the way up to the michigan border from shore so if you want to get out get on a great bite let me know i can do that 608-713-2402 or hit me up on facebook or instagram at diehard angling otherwise hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a subscribe if you are not subscribed otherwise yeah stay tuned for some more great walleye content we got plenty of videos coming we got the new electronics in the boat new trolling motor everything is great life is going good and i'm excited to meet anyone that wants to come out so hit me up if you want to get out and get on a great bike